food is extremely important to the family in the Italian household. The kitchen table or the dining room table is where everything of importance happens in an Italian family. Everything. When I think about the food, I actually, the first thing that comes to my mind are aromas. A, a stew cooking like a veal spezzato. If you walk the streets of the mountain in the old days, the windows were open. You can smell the meatballs, you know what I mean? You can smell the gravy, and if you happen to stop in there and run up, sit down and eat. Famous words, sit down and eat. That's the thing is, eat, eat. That's why, and they used to tell me, eat, Johnny, eat, Johnny. Then when I got fat, they said, why don't you stop it? <laughs> why don't you make up your mind, you know? I can remember well my mother making and frying the meatballs and of course I always managed to steal one or two prior to it going in the gravy. And then as the gravy was being made, you'd be dipping uh, fresh bread into the gravy while it was being made. As a matter of fact, when my wife makes gravy and meatballs, I do the same thing. I always managed to steal one or two meatballs and dip the bread in the gravy. We in the North End, by the way, never called it tomato sauce. It was always gravy as distinguished from if you wanted to have like roast beef with gravy, then it would be meat gravy. It was always gravy. Everybody made it different and there was no recipe. You know, just a pinch of this, a little of that. I used to make pasta, lasagna. I used to buy a big loin and I used to make a make a pocket and I used to stuff it and I used to bake it with the potatoes. We made everything. They would make raviolis and then they used to dry them out on the bed and we used to sleep on the floor. I used to put all clean sheets, sheets and everything. As a seventh grader, I was fortunate enough to be accepted to Boston Latin School. And one of the things that really stood out was lunchtime. My lunches were exquisite. Greasy brown bag lunch with a greasy broccoli lobby or Italian tuna fish sandwich for my classmates who had maybe a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or ham and cheese. So that was like, you know, where did you get that? I've never seen a sandwich like that. My and, best uh, friend in high school was an Irish kid. My mother used to make an extra meatball sandwich every day so I could feed him. He used to think it was like the greatest thing in the world. They never seen anything like it. There used to be a Wonder Bread factory in Charlestown. And um, you would be able to buy day old loaves of bread for like a nickel a dime. So I, I came, went back and told my mother, I said, my, you can buy it. It looks like uh, bond bread would look like. What are you, crazy? You can't eat that kind of bread, you'll die. Why, ma? It's not like an Italian bread, Gus. It's you got to have a hard crust on the outside. I said, I'll remember that, ma. I'll remember that. Sunday dinner, that was a ritual. Sundays were a very, very special day for us. Family would be there, married children would come back to mother's house, bring their children if they had any, and there'd be 10, 15 people for Sunday dinner every Sunday. Every Sunday, one of your grandmother's house would eat macaroni every Sunday. All the family came over. There had to be about 22 people in a three-room apartment at one time. There was probably four generations. We used to eat in shifts. In shifts, <laughs> everywhere. We'd sit on a bed, we'd sit on a chair, we'd stand up in the corner. It was insane, we but it was... We had a leaf from the kitchen table that my brother Peter, Bob, <laughs> used to put over the arms of the easy chair yeah. in the parlor, and that was his yeah. table in front of the TV. It was a very, very important time of our lives because it was absolutely family coordinated and we enjoyed having the extended family with us. Sunday was my most favorite day of the week. Go to nine o'clock mass at St. Stephen's Church, dress to the nines. The North End is uh, famous for their uh, sartorial uh, splendor, always looking to get dressed up in their Sunday best and having a great Sunday dinner. After church, I stopped in and uh, had a meatball in uh, one apartment, uh, dunked a piece of hot crusty Italian bread in a, a bubbling uh, pot of uh, Italian gravy in another, have a ravioli in a third place, a uh, uh, piece of veal or lamb uh, in a neighbor's house. It was just a wonderful, wonderful day, spending uh, time with food and with family. Two very, very important things for Italian uh, kids growing up in the North End.